So spring in New Orleans, it means festivals and snowballs and Unfortunately, it means buck, mo buck moth caterpillars. I'll get it out eventually. They may look furry and harmless, but they really do pack a powerful sting. Photojournalist Adam Copas talked with some experts for tips on how to prevent and treat a buck moth sting. The buck moth caterpillar is a uh, caterpillar that comes out in the springtime, merges on our southern oak species, primarily the live oak. Uh, people who live in New Orleans are, of course, very familiar with buck moth caterpillars. Uh, they tend to live in and around oak trees, and so if you have an oak tree in your neighborhood, you've probably seen them. So they have venomous pockets within their body, and they are covered in black spines. They're actually, uh, they're, they're quite beautiful when you look at them close, but certainly don't want to touch them. That pain is going to be immediate, and then you will have a residual effect for uh, probably you know several days, if not a week. If you get one of those uh, buck moths on you and you happen to brush it with your, with your skin or your open hand, those um, hairs um, will sting into you and get lodged into your skin and really cause some pain. If you have a sting uh, already, one thing you can do is um, you can try to get some tape, for example, and remove any of the extra hairs that may have come off of the buck moth caterpillar and been lodged in your skin. That can be helpful in reducing the duration. After that, you may want to put some ice um, on the affected area to try to reduce that pain that you're experiencing. Some people will also use a, a mixture of baking soda and water to try to um, uh, you know, create a little a paste that can be helpful or even after that, putting some hydrocortisone cream can make a difference. They may benefit from taking Benadryl, for our example, or ibuprofen over the counter to try to reduce some of the um, inflammation and some of the uh, response that they're having to that sting. It's if you're really concerned about that, maybe have long sleeves on as long as you can. Part of living in an urban environment, sometimes we have to manage uh, our surroundings. <laughs> I just had to say it.